Hey boys and bears, it's Dan, and I'm. this is my first video that I'm officially putting on YouTube. I actually finally made a Boys, Bears, and Scares uh, YouTube channel. So, you'll be able to watch all the videos that I post on the Facebook page. You'll be able to watch on YouTube as well. I'll post the link for that, and um, every time I make a video, I'll put it on the Facebook page. It'll be in the video photo albums on Facebook, and then it'll be on, uh, U on YouTube. So, that's what I'm doing. This is my first video that I'm officially v uh, filming for. YouTube. So what I'm going to do this time is, you know, I haven't gone over, I, you know, I post books, horror, gay horror books that come out, but I'm going to go over all the gay horror books in my collection. I've already gone over my other gay horror uh, collection, most of my, like, horror no uh, novelizations and stuff. So now I'm going to go through the collection of, oh, they're all on the floor. So I'm going to go through the collection of gay horror novels and fiction that I have, okay? So this is going to be a scary close-up as I grab the camera. Hold on. So we're going to start... We're going to come in. i got to work on the glare. This is Now, this is a book. This is Out in the Dark by Sean Abley. Sean is great. Sean is a gay horror director. Um, directed the horror, The Sexy Socket, it's called. Um, and this is a book... You know, Sean created a column for Fangoria called Gay of the Dead. And he just resurrected Gay of the Dead. And this book is a collection of uh, interviews with all different gay horror filmmakers. So, that's a great book. And we're going to move on. Now, this first row is, these are, um, like, they're out, like, anthologies, like, a couple of different authors. This is, uh, Masters of Midnight, Triptych of Terror, Suffered from the Night, that's a new one, um, edited by Steve Berman. Steve Berman's a great guy, he, he's an editor, and he brings us, uh, a lot of our gay horror authors, uh, go through, uh, Steve. Monsters in the Closet, that's an oldie, this is probably so dated by now, but it's homosexuality in the horror film. So that's another film, uh, book about horror films, gay horror and, um, gay, you know, characters and stuff in horror films. So, that's the anthologies and the movies. Movie books. And now, this is all my fiction. Here we got Izzy and Eve. We got Dave Thomas Lord, uh, Bound in Blood. And here's more. This is Steve Berman. He's, you know, he's a writer as well. This is his vintage a ghost story. It's more like a young adult novel. Trists is three different stories, I believe. It's been so long since I read that one. Um, this is one of these things is not like the other. That was a pretty twisted book. Oh, these are my... J Joshua Sky. I love you, Joshua. He's one of my friends. Um, he has... He's so prolific. He writes a lot of horror. And uh, these are two of his kids. I want to read more of them. These are the two I've written about. I've actually um, blogged about these, too. Come to my brother. That's Danny Wilde. Danny is um, a pretty sexy uh, porn star, and he's a writer as well. It's a vampire novel. I, I blogged about that. So I'm going to move back. The Werewolves of Central Park. Tom Cardamon. Ah, Tom. Tom's my buddy. Tom is, um... Me and Tom got our first uh, novels published together through, um... What was it? Starbooks was our first. And uh, Tom has more books as well. So then I'll have Rob Rose. And Rob's a cutie. Rob has a series. He's got a Vamp and Queer Wolf. And the new one I haven't read yet, but I have it. Queens of the Apocalypse. Then we go on and we have... Ah, uh, my friend. This is Wayne Mansfield. Brothers of the Moon and Love and Nightmares I haven't read yet. That's his, one of his newer ones. Um, he is uh, an Australian writer, gay horror. He's, he writes sexy, scary, fun, like kind of stuff I write. I love him. Uh, Hal Bodner, he's Bite Club I'm reading right now. And Hal told me about his new one, his sequel, The Trouble with Harry. So that's what I'm going to read next. Oh my god, he's so... Look at the size of his books. That's like Stephen King scary, how long his books are. So I'm reading Bite Club... And then I'm going to move on to that one. Then we have Delicious Darkness. That's um, erotica by my friend David Holly. That I met him at BenCon. We're on both under both strokes books now. Uh, Martyrs and Monsters by Robert Dunbar. He's a great he's a great um, writer as well. He's got a lot of books out. I'm going to read more of his too. Andrew Walter as well. I want to read more of his. This is much of Ma much of madness, more of sin, and this is a anthology of uh, his short stories. And then, oh, my buddy, Timothy McGivney. Timothy did, wrote a great um, blurb for one of my books, my latest book. Um, so he has Zombielicious and Vampilicious. Then Robert Rohde, he's a comic writer. Um, he wrote a lot of great... God, he wrote, like, Closet Case and Fag Hag, um, Kept Boy. I love his stuff. And he wrote these... He decided to write these, like, takes on, like, Alfred Hitchcock-type Alfred Hitchcock uh Mysteries. So these are the the baby one I love, and then the Sugarman bootlegs. A uh, warlock is Perry Brass. Perry's been around forever. He's um, a prolific writer. Chad Helder. Chad's another friend. He um he 
did a blurb for one of my books, and these are both um, collections of like uh, poems. One of these has the um, Great Elm Street 2 poem I love, so that's um, Chad. This is Someone You someone you Know. I haven't read that in ages. That was a great book, too. Ah, Alan Renfro. Alan's a good um, modern gay horror writer as well. So this is his book, Snap. Mind Jacker. That's a pretty dirty one. Testosterone. That was made into a classic, classic movie with, um, what was it, uh, Antonio um, Sabato Jr.? And then uh, Jeff Mann. This is Jeff Mann. Um, Desire and Devour. I believe he's writing another novel with a vampire in this collection. Um, Jeff's a great friend, too. He has blurbed quite a few of my books, actually. Then there's Greg Heron. Greg is, um, God, he's written a lot of books, too. Not always horror, but he's a biggie. Um, Lee Thomas is amazing. I just read The German. It's his first book I read by him. I want to read more. He's amazing. I love him. Rick Reed. So handsome, Rick Reed. This is I Am, one of his thrillers. He writes male, male romance as well. Um, Mark Allen Gunnels. This is a fun one, Asylum. This is a great one. This is a quickie, um, a zombie story. Objects in the Rearview Mirror by F.E. Feely Jr. He's a goodie as well. He He's um, a friend of mine on Facebook. I like his stuff. i got to read more of him. These are all... I have, I have to read the rest of... I think Michael Scheifelmein, I think is say his name. Um, wrote a couple more. i got to read the rest of those. Um, I never picked them up. I got these when I used to work at Inside Out Books. And then finally, there's... Oh, it's me. These are my books. Closet Monsters, Horny Devils, Combustion, and No Place for Little Ones. These first two are um, short stories and novellas, and these are part of my new series, Combustion and No Place for Little Ones. That's where the rise of the thing down below is coming, that video I posted, that perverted video I posted. So that's it, guys. That's my... Woo! That's my collection of gay horror. Hopefully it will just keep growing and growing. So that's it, guys. Those are all my books. I'll talk to you later. Bye.